The Porsche 924, a dyed-in-the-wool rear-wheel drive sports car with just one floor. The engine was at the front, water-cooled, and it came from Audi. At its launch in 1975, it split Porsche fans into two camps. One side celebrated, finally an inexpensive Porsche, while the others wrinkled their noses. That's supposed to be a Porsche? Even today, 911 drivers still see it as a mere stepbrother. 924 drivers, on the other hand, smirked whenever they saw a 911 with a roof rack. 370 litres of boot space speaks for itself. The transaxle concept, in which the engine is placed at the front with the gearbox and differential at the back, allowed an almost ideal weight distribution of 48 to 52 percent. The 924's air drag coefficient was a streamlined 0.36. The 924 Turbo, when production ended in 1988, produced 177 horsepower. The aspirated version, the 924S, had 160. Although that was with the 2.5-litre engine from the 944, introduced in 1981. This model also enjoyed great popularity. Despite excellent sales figures and success on the racetrack, however, the 924 and the 944 found it difficult to take on the 911. To supersede it, although this was the original plan, was unthinkable. Nevertheless, the Transaxle series found its own fan base. Some of these fans met in Bad Gastein in Austria. The guest list included those with an interest in the 924, the 944 and the 968. The prelude to this event is a beauty pageant, for which all the cars were smartened up. But cleanliness alone is no guarantee of a prize. Every car is closely scrutinized, and even small details don't escape the expert eye of the inspector. A car from the 70s, which has been fairly well maintained, will be rated higher than a car from the 90s, which looks as new. On the next day, all the participants set out to prove that Porsche drivers aren't just fair-weather drivers. In cold, damp weather, they head off in convoy towards the Turacher Höhe, a once popular test route with dreaded inclines. Also part of the group are a few 968s, the last representatives of the four-cylinder series. Rain turns to snow, and the organizers cancel the stage over the otherwise wonderful to drive Not Alm Road. Instead, they go straight to Gmünd in southern Austria, to the Porsche Museum. This private museum, owned by Helmut Pfeifhofer, is not just a must for all Porsche fans. There are so many rarities to marvel at here that you could easily come more often. Helmut Pfeifhofer, the museum owner, is always on hand. With his opening times, there shouldn't be any difficulties with appointments. We have we are open every day, including Sundays and holidays throughout the whole year. So much dedication deserves appreciation. And there's also appreciation in the evening at the conclusion of the four-cylinder excursion. 
Dr. Hans Roland Zitka wins the prize for the longest trip to get here and, of course, for the best-looking car. In this case, a 924 Turbo. Unfortunate that the weather on this June weekend was anything but summery.